Miguel Couto is going to lose to Delvin Rodriguez, in my opinion. Um, I'm going with the upset here, guys. I'm going with the upset, in my opinion. And I'm going to say my man Koto is just a little bit past it. And this is a really dangerous fight. Okay? Miguel Koto coming off that loss to Austin Trout. I don't know, man. I really don't know where Koto's head was at in that fight. Um, he just really seemed not very aggressive. Nowhere nearly as aggressive as he was in the Mayweather fight, I guess. Um... Cotto was just more focused for the Mayweather fight. I think he just came in thinking that, you know, he was just he was just going to win off of being Miguel Cotto. I really don't know. But Austin Trout really took him to school. And I think all of the wars have finally caught up with Miguel Cotto. And now he's facing a guy who, in my opinion, is primed and ready to beat him. I think uh, Delvin Rodriguez is in a good spot. Uh, to really impress a lot of people and to do something great in this fight. Uh, you know, his, his last fight, he stopped his opponent. I think he had another stoppage before that. Um, and, yeah, I mean, he's been in there with quality opponents, Delvin Rodriguez. I mean, he, he's been in there with Austin Trout. Um, you know, he's been in there with, with quality guys, and I think he's I'm, – I'm happy for him to get this t type of opportunity, and uh, I'm going to be pulling for him. Cotto just been in there with too in too many wars, guys. He's been in too many wars. And Cotto has this thing where he just kind of talks a certain way and he gets you real hyped and you're like, damn, yeah, man, Cotto is about to do it. And then he gets in that ring and he does not do it. <laughs> um, not recently, anyway. Not recently. Um, yeah, Cotto is a warrior, but he's been in there with guys like Margachito. Man, he's 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 taken too many, too many hits, man. He's been in there with guys like Austin Trout. He's been in there with Pacquiao. He's been in there with Mayweather. He's been in there with Mosley. Who hasn't this guy been in there with, man? And he's taken damage in all of those fights. Which brings me to the next thing. You would think at this point, Cotto would be thinking, hey, well, maybe I just got to work on defense a little bit. But instead of doing that, he says, you know what? Let me go sign with Freddie Roach. Wait, what? <laughs> what, Miguel Cotto? I mean, come on, man. I mean, if you really wanted to switch trainers this late in the game, which in my opinion, you had a great trainer. Um, but if you really wanted to switch trainers this late in the game, Freddie Roach, really? I mean, how about Robert Garcia? I mean, at least he's a guy who's sure he's going to um, tune up your offense a bit, actually teach you to be more consistent with your jab. I mean, you had it in the Mayweather fight, um, but you didn't have it in the fight with Austin Trout. So I think... Robert Garcia could have brought that out of you and uh, maybe enhance your defense a little bit. I don't know, but I mean, Cotto's just been fighting the same way for a while, man. I think Cotto has to just kind of start looking in the mirror. And the fact that he's not looking in the mirror, he's, I guess, blaming his trainer for his shortcomings. I, I, I really don't know, man, but uh, I, I'm just not feeling Cotto in this fight. I could be wrong. I mean, maybe Miguel Cotto comes back and shows us some vintage Cotto in this in this um in this fight man but I'm going with Delvin. He's taller. He's got the reach advantage. Um I think he can hit harder than Cotto at this point. I really do. I mean, I I'm giving him the power advantage too, man. Uh people talk about how Cotto was hitting Mayweather. Yeah, but was he really hurting Mayweather? Not really. He wasn't able to hurt Trout at all. I mean, I feel like the 154-pound division was just never really meant for Cotto. I, I mean, I don't know. I just never really saw him as a true junior middleweight. He was just kind of always um, a welterweight to me, you know. So, I don't know. I mean, and then he had most of his success at junior welterweight. So, I don't know, man. I, I just think Cotto's kind of past it. I mean, I wouldn't mind being pleasantly surprised uh, when we see this fight. But I'm going with Delvin Rodriguez. Uh, I think he's going to give Cotto all he can handle in this fight. You know, I do commend Cotto. You know, I, I really do applaud him for once again fighting a game opponent when he probably could have just took the easy way out. This guy is still one of the biggest draws in boxing, guys. He didn't have to fight Austin Trout, and he doesn't have to fight Delvin Rodriguez. But this guy continues to always challenge himself. Um, and you got to respect that. So we'll see. Um, 
We'll see what's next on the horizon for Delvin as well. If Delvin could win this fight, maybe he lands a big fight with Canelo. Uh, there's uh, Erez Landi Laura out there. I mean, there's there's some guys out there that he could fight as well. So, um, like I said, I, I'd like to see Delvin win this fight. And, uh, yeah, I wish him the best of luck. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll see how uh, the whole dynamic having Freddie Roach, what it actually does for Cotto. But, I mean, to me, I just think it's a terrible decision. I, I just really don't get it at all. I mean, maybe he's trying to get back at Pacquiao and sparring or something. So that's why he signed with Freddie Roach. I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't get it. Um, I'm surprised Pacquiao's even still with Freddie Roach at this point, man. I mean, even Chavez Jr. was smart enough to call it quits. Um at least I'm pretty sure he got rid of Freddie Roach. He was planning on it. I don't know if he ever actually acted on it or not. I think he was shopping around and trying to get rid of him, but I don't know if he, I think he was being too cheap to really pay anybody um, enough money. So I don't know if he landed another trainee or not, but I know he was trying to get out of there. But look, this is going to be a great fight. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I like Delvin Rodriguez in this fight. I'm going with an 11th round TKO. 11th round TKO. Cotto gets bruised up really easy, and that's just nothing new, man. I think uh, Delvin puts it on him, man. You guys let me know what y'all think. Peace.